Life in the Premier League is underway with Leeds United. Today, though, we face our former club, Birmingham City and Manchester City in the Premier League. Following on from the Arsenal draw in the opening day of the season was a 2-1 away win against Norwich City. Kazim Etem did equalise for us after they went in front 53 minutes in. Javier Cortez came on as well and got the winning goal in the 89th minute. Oh, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Tottenham Hotspur 6, Leeds United 1. A pretty even game. <laughs> even if you look at the shots, we had the advantage. And um, yeah, we got beat 6-1. This was a whole new low. We bounced back though with a rotated side away uh, at home in the League Cup second round against Swansea City. Ian Chapman getting his first start of the season and bagging himself a hat-trick. Next up was a home tie against Millwall. We did start Ian Chapman in this game, but he didn't really perform that well. Roman Vlasek came on and equalised for us in the 68th minute. Kazim Etem got, the, got us in front 81 minutes in and Kevin Majaya rounded things off in the 95th minute to give us a 3-1 win. Another game and another win, 2-0 at home against Newcastle United. Roman Vlasek and Jim Walker with the goals in this one. And a real, probably the best, most comfortable performance of the season so far. We then went away from home against Leicester City and we got beat. Pablo Martinez trio, our former man, getting the goal. Who did we have Pablo at? Was it Birmingham City? It was. He's went to Watford, now he's went to Leicester City. And he's come back to haunt us. And finally, we played a rotated side in the League Cup third round. We went away from home against West Ham United. Victor Ailtar getting the uh, man of the match performance. I'm sure we had a former man in here. Tony Herrero, of course, our former man of playing for West Ham. And a disappointing result, really, considering the match stats. We should have done better in this game. Ian Chapman getting the only goal for us. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We currently sit in ninth position, only one place behind Manchester City. And we face Birmingham City today, who are actually in second place. So they're having a fantastic start to the season. But we're only six games in, so we can't read too much into that currently. We're six points clear from the relegation zone, which is nice. Um, we're just about in the top half. It's a decent start to life in the Premier League. So this is going to be the lineup for today's game. Pretty much a full strength side. The only people missing are Jim Walker, who is out just for a few more days. Florentino, our backup defensive midfielder, has been out. He's going to be out for about five months. So really, really disappointed. And that's going to hamper his development massively. And we're not going to be able to give him that much game time. But Hugh Griffiths in goal. Piaggio, Gilson, Garonski, Conradi in the defence. Dual Bissam, Mejia in the midfield. Yepes, Granger, Cortez in behind. Roman Vlasek. Who will keep his spot in the striker position. He scored two goals in the Premier League so far. He's improving really, really nicely. And I want to continue to give him game time. We've got Ian Chapman on the bench. He can come on on that right-hand side or up front. Um, depends what we need. But we face massive opposition today. Birmingham City have started the season fantastically. They have some very, very good players. Still got the likes of Jude Bellingham, of course, sitting in the central midfield. They signed Luke Daly in the summer from Huddersfield. A lot of our former men that we are seeing here. Mazamiru was a former loanee from us as well. They do have a pretty changed front lineup from what we were expecting. Chalov comes in to replace um, Alberto Salenza, who they sold in the summer. And yeah, difficult game is upon us, but I really want to get one over Birmingham City. It doesn't look like they're under any threat of getting relegated, so I want a win today. <laughs> Opening 15 minutes or so look pretty even so far. I am going to take us off and attack and move to a more positive team mentality as a corner comes in. And we've got ourselves a penalty. We have ourselves a penalty. Who is going to be the man to step up and take it? It is going to be Roman Vlasek. Let's see if he can put it away and get his third goal for the season in the Premier League. He certainly can. And we go 1-0 up 17 minutes in. Obviously, Birmingham a very good side. We're going to have to remain composed. Being able to keep possession a little bit better. And uh, see if we can see this out for the rest of the first half. If we can get in 1-0 up. At half time, I will be absolutely delighted. Or if we can do better, even better. But maybe not in this highlight. Shalov comes forward down the centre of the park for Birmingham City. He's got options on both wings. He tries to find someone that eventually gets it to uh, its way to its required target. I can't speak. Just speak, Sam. Use your words. The highlight isn't over. Football manager is telling me something else is happening in this. Vlasek does win the ball. It falls to the Birmingham City defence though. And maybe they can counter using their wingers. Rasmussen picks up the ball on the right-hand side. Goes back to Bellingham. Lovely little ball over from Bellingham to Bustos on the right. Oh, two-foot challenge. It's a red card for Garonski. Please, don't do it. Oh, it's, it's not the first time it's happened with him. 
straight red. That's his third red card of his career, I, rem I remember. It sticks in my head. We're going to have to take off Granger, our attack midfielder. We'll bring on Samuel Bernat for him at, at centre-back. Uh, we're not going to go crazy with the changes. We're going to change our wing-backs to a supporting duty rather than attacking. Jubal Bis can stay on a support duty. We're going to go on the counter. And that is going to be our changes. We've got pretty much 70 minutes still remaining of this game to try and hold out. We're aiming for a draw at this point now. A win is highly unlikely. Please don't score Mazamiro straight away. He does as well. He equalises from the resultant free kick. His fourth goal of the season, of course, our former man. And now we have a whole world of pain coming at us for the next 65 minutes or so. In my brain now, Garonski's out. <laughs> he's our second best centre-half by a comfortable margin as well. But come January, he's, be he's a liability. I'm not telling him to tackle harder. He's not being told to get stuck in, so there's no reason for him to have been sent off three times within his first nine months of his career at Leeds United. So he's just a liability. I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. He's costing us points, and I'm disappointed. Highlight now. 40 minutes to go into the second half. Can we hold out? Mazamiru comes forward for Birmingham City. Plays it a collie on this left-hand side. He's going to have to go to himself unless he holds the play up and allows more players to enter the attack. Bustos whips it into collie back post. He goes over the bar. Still got half an hour to survive. Yepes, though, wins the ball after a poor goal kick from the Birmingham City goalkeeper. He gets to the byline, whips it in. Kevin Majai to go on. Oh, he hits the keeper. Hit that anywhere in the goal and that goes in the back of the net. We should be 2-1 up. Cort Cortez. We need Jim Marker back like stat. Kevin Majai has just picked up a knock on notice there. And we will look to get him off straight away. We've got Pietro Porcino on the bench. So there's no need to risk uh, Kevin Majai. We will save our last sub though. Just in case. That's offside. That's surely offside. It's not offside. Fedor Chalov gets his fourth goal of the season and puts Birmingham City 2-1 up. I was looking at this game, you know, and I was thinking we're going to win this one. Um, Garonski has completely screwed us. We're going to have to go for this even with 10 men. Um, we'll put our wing-backs back on an attack duty. We've went attacking in a team mentality. And we're going to bring on Ian Chapman. Uh, Roman Vlasek's got an assist today. We're going to bring him on on the right-hand side, playing as the winger. He can do that. And he gives us another attacking option. But four minutes to go, unless we counter from this. It's unlikely we're going to get a point. It's going to be Brown who takes the free kick for Birmingham City. Whenever you're ready. He plays it short to Shalov who shoots. That's offside. That is offside. Come on, it is offside. Thank God for that. Very attacking for the last minute. Uh, no. It's not going to happen for us today. Leeds United 1, Birmingham City 2. Garonski, that is entirely your fault. If we were, I, I think we would have won that with 11 men. I really do. Um, but we're now going to have to find him. Samuel Bernat, our third choice centre-back, also picks up an injury in that game. That is not good. He's now been suspended for one match. I'm finding him two weeks' wages. I don't care if he kicks up a stink about it. Um, he completely deserves that for a straight red card, costing us three points there. At least he's accepted his fine. Me assistant manager's laying into him in the uh, press conference as well, which this is why he's my assistant manager. He's a good player. He's a very, very good player. But uh, if we go back to his career stats now, yeah. Last season, he was sent off twice in 12 games. He's already been sent off once in five, uh, seven games so far this season. He needs to go. I don't like him. And we still have a game against Manchester City to come. Centre-back options are looking pretty thin on the ground now. Um, we're going to have to play a pretty rotated side against them away from home. <laughs> we're going to get stuffed 6-1 again, aren't we? This game, it's going to hurt. We have got a number of key suspensions and injuries. Um, we are having to play... Matthew Gibbons at centre-back. Um, mm -hmm. Luke Thomas at left-back. Uh-huh. Other than that, we're pretty much full strength. <laughs> Manchester City away from home. I'm just hoping to avoid an absolute thrashing here. Manchester City's team is, of course, just full of absolute stars. Jerome, Jerome Benier is someone I was looking at before he signed for Manchester City. He's so short. Uh, he wasn't really quite the deep-lying playmaker I was wanting, but... Um, Kind of wish I'd signed him now. Uh, ooh, Maillard, they've got their own version of Damien. But he plays on the right-hand side and he's called Cyprian. Uh, ooh, can we can we avoid defeat here? Probably not. We're going to play on the counter from the start though. And we'll see how our boys get on. They're not in the greatest morale after that uh, Birmingham City defeat. So, things aren't looking good. 
One nice thing is our boys look a little bit better rested than the Manchester City squad as a whole. Uh, Jim Walker does return to the starting lineup on that left-hand side after being injured for a couple of games. He's had a fantastic season so far as well, so he's definitely one of our key men in the attacking areas of the game. But half an hour gone, nothing happening. Can we just do this for 90 minutes? No, we can't. <laughs> 35 minutes in, we get our first highlight of the game. Benir tries to find uh, Rodrigo on the left-hand side. It's cleared to Ben Chilwell. Who drives down the left-hand side. He's in the box. Someone challenge? Oh, not the penalty though. Oh, man. Why? Alvaro Yepes, why? You know you can't tackle. Why did you even do it? Rodrigo is the man to step up for Manchester City. Who will no doubt put them 1-0 up. With only 9 minutes to go to the first half. And there it is. Not a great way to start the game. Considering the sort of lineup we've got. Giving away a penalty is just stupid. Look, I promise we haven't got to get get stuck in as a tackling option i don't want to see us stay on feet because then uh, players will just be able to run around us but ah uh, i don't know why we're making so many silly defensive mistakes granger with a free kick 50 seconds before half time oh gilson gets his head in it and goes over the bar not a bad first off to be quite honest uh, apart from the penalty obviously uh, manchester city haven't had too many opportunities thanks to our counter attack and style but we are going to have to get a goal back if we are going to get a point out of this game. So first highlight of the second half is straight from kickoff. It looks like it's going to be a Manchester City opportunity. The ball is fed down the left-hand side for Rodrigo. He plays it back to Finn. Uh, can we close him down and maybe pinch it? No, we can't. Ben Chilwell gets the ball on the left-hand side. Back to Rodrigo. Played into Fabio Silva. What a save, Hugh Griffiths. I know it was offside, but that is an absolute world-class save. Well done. We're going to have to go for this. 35 minutes remaining. And what's the point in sitting back and hoping to counter when they're only, they're only playing a positive team mentality. So they're not bombing forward. The opportunities for us to actually count them, catch them on the counter are very limited. Um, so we're going to have to make this happen ourselves. Granger picks up the ball on the right hand side. Gets dispossessed by Chilwell. Thankfully, Gib Gilson is there. <laughs> I thought he was going to let that run and Fabio Silva was going to pinch it. Thankfully... We do retain possession, but we are getting crowded out. Piaggio finds Jim Walker. Vlasic in the box. Roman Vlasic gets the goal. We're back at, We're back countering. We're back countering. His fourth goal of the season. Jim Walker getting the assist. And we draw ourselves level with only 30 minutes to go. Some good play by us, despite Manchester City sitting really deep and getting numbers back in defence. Jim Walker does well. Vlasic, excellent finish. That's why he was brought in. 30 minutes to go. Can we hang on? We have ourselves... Another highlight. Yepes brings it down on the right-hand side to Piaggio, who is overlapping. He can bomb forward. He's got the attributes for it. He plays a back, though, to uh, Granger, who's dropped a little bit deep. Fli oh, oh, Vlasic. He feeds it through beautifully to Vlasic. Unfortunately, he was offside anyway. But um, good player by us. Jim Walker on his return from injury. He got the assist, but he is struggling out there. We'll bring on Javier Cortez in his spot. We'll bring off Kevin Majaya as well. For Pietro Porcino in the centre of midfield. Mejia not having a good game. And on a yellow card is not a good combination. We don't want to go down to 10 men for two games in a row. 10 minutes to go. I'm happy with this game. Just keep tinkering. Away. Oh, five minutes to go. We'll have a highlight. I mean, it's us in, with the ball, which is nice. Um, but I can't imagine it's going to be our highlight. It is. looks like it's going to be a Manchester City opportunity as they win the ball. On the halfway line, the ball's played to Vinicius Jr. on the right-hand side. He cuts in, beats his man, goes for goal, hits the post. Griffiths with the save. Hugh Griffiths, you might be the man of the match, my son, if you keep this up. Five minutes left. Corner. It's played in. Down to Finn. Rodrigo shoots. Griffiths dives. Get back up. <laughs> it's all a bit chaotic. Shoves. Plays in the ball. Gibson gets clear. Gilson gets clear. And with four minutes to go, the highlight is over. We're not making the final, so we are keeping the boys out there who are out there. 10 seconds to go. There is a highlight. This doesn't usually happen if... Oh my God, Hugh Griffiths. Oh no. Oh, he makes the save. He needed to make that save. Jesus Christ. Imagine if that was the reason we got beat. Corner for Manchester City. It's cleared by Gilson. De Jong is the man to pick it up. 20 seconds over time, referee. The attack is over. Benier plays it all the way back. And there we have it. Manchester City won leads one. We had to fight for that. Hugh Griffiths did in the end. Managed to get a uh, player of the match. 10 saves. Fantastic, fantastic comeback. A really, really poor defence we put out there. But they managed to hold out against a huge Manchester City attack. And we can breathe.
So the Premier League table looks like this. We currently sit in 11th place after eight games. Not too bad. Um, we have had some bad luck, particularly with that uh, Birmingham City uh, game last game. We have suffered some humiliating defeats, particularly against the one against Tottenham Hotspur. But eight games into the Premier League season, the players are still adapting. We've got a lot of new players bedding in. I'm relatively content with how things are going. And that takes us to the next episode. Then we have to return for the Barnsley Huddersfield game. It just sets us up perfectly, both at home as well. We do want two wins against them, boys. Uh, Huddersfield and Birmingham currently in the top four. <laughs> Barnsley a little bit below us on 10 points, so should give us some decent games. We have like five or six games in the Premier League in between as well, so some big games in there. Man United, uh, Liverpool, Chelsea. We could find ourselves close to the relegation zone coming into these games. We're going to have to see how our boys adapt and perform. But if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.